want to stay with travel right now. The holiday resort company Sandals has made a multinational business out of the beauty of the Caribbean. But there's a part of Sandals that isn't just about growing the business. The Sandals Foundation is the company's philanthropic arm. It tries to improve the lives of people in the Caribbean and in areas like education and health care. It's also working to preserve the natural surroundings and marine life. Here to tell us more is the CEO of Sandals Resorts International, Adam Stewart. Adam, thank you so much for being with us thank today. Thank you so much for having me. You know, this is interesting because I know a lot of people who do take sort of destination vacations. Um, it is a concern to them because they feel like they're in a beautiful resort and then the minute they step off the property, they're surrounded by poverty and really a, a difference in lifestyle that makes a lot of them feel guilty and, and feel a bit bad. You really look like you're making efforts to change that with this foundation. Definitely, definitely. Five years ago, we founded a foundation, a US 501 C3, uh, in an attempt to, to really bring ch true change to the Caribbean. So our, our family founded Sandals Resorts in 1981, and we've always, we've always done charitable works within the Caribbean, but we really sat down and said, how can we put a framework around this? How can we get into the communities that are, that are depressed like any, you know, any, any part of the developing world? And uh, we set this foundation up. We've just hit our five-year anniversary. Uh, we've collected over $16 million of cash and kind, uh, to total values. Uh, within, within the program, we've, have, we've done hundreds of programs affecting hundreds of thousands of lives. And, uh, and it's really just ballooning into this massive, you know, do good, feel good. Um, and, and you've got vehicle. big names too, NBA star Dwayne yeah, we Wade just on a, board. A with Dwayne Wade, we, we work with all of our major airline partners. It truly is a partnership, partnership of Sanders customers, partnerships with, uh, with, with the 13,000 team members that we have in the, uh, throughout the Caribbean islands. Uh, partnership with the, the the largest travel companies in in, in the world, and uh, and it just it just continues to get bigger and bigger. It, it focuses on education, community, and uh, and the environment. And and tell me, I mean, obviously corporations certainly like when when they can sort of check off the box of social responsibility, um, which is a good thing. But does this filter down into your bottom line? Does this actually help your business? It, it probably does at some point. Mm. You know, there are so many people in the beginning that said, you know, this is a risky thing. You sell the, you sell a beautiful vacation on the most most magical uh, beaches, but. Our company is actually owned by our family. We're from Jamaica. We're Caribbean nationals. We're an international company based out of the Caribbean. And uh, we felt as private sector that it was our duty to get in there and to bring true change, uh, you know, sustainable change to our region. And uh, it's pretty cool. You know, we have 26 adopted schools. We've built three schools, computer labs, arts and culture um, um, studios. It's just pretty wild. I mean, the guy that we buy our golf carts from for our golf courses, uh, he donated twenty thousand dollars worth of books a couple months ago. So even small, even on the small it, local it, it level, it happens at every local level. We this do must benefit you though, because you, you you need to employ people. You need to have staff. You need sure. to have a community that's vibrant. I would assume. So there is a benefit well, as well. Well, we always say there's thirteen thousand ambassadors. Sandus yeah. has thirteen thousand staff members, and they are the cheerleaders and ambassadors every day that that keep talking about all the good works that we do in the Caribbean. So it's um, it's pretty great. You know, mm -hmm. it's a real change agent program, and it's getting larger. And large, and our, uh, you know, our website is sandalsfoundation.org, and, and as I said, it is a U.S. 501c3, and um, we're just really proud of where it's come to. That's fantastic. I'm sure a lot of the people who come to visit you once they find out about it too um, will surely be interested in participating. Um, I have to ask you what the climate is um, out there for travel. Um, you have a good gauge. Um, sure. This is your vacations are ones that people take when they're feeling confident, feeling good. Um, how is this summer? Booking season, looking uh, for the rest of 2014. Definitely on a rebound. We're having really? our best year ever. Our, our organization opened three new resorts last year: uh, one in Grenada, one in Barbados, and one in Turks and Caicos. And uh, we're very proud to be in the Caribbean. We, we feel the Caribbean is the most beautiful part of the world, and uh, and you're seeing it come back in, in a very strong way, particularly the North American markets. Mm. That's encouraging. That's good to hear. And we hope to find ourselves on one of your beautiful beaches we hope as to see well. You there. Adam, thank you so much for coming in and good luck with the foundation thank and all you. the good work you're thank doing. Thank you very much.